Hi boys and girls! Welcome to the Parsha Studio. Today we are going to do a very cool science experiment that's similar to the burning bush, the snack, which Moshe saw in this week's Parsha, Shimos. Here are the supplies that we'll need. Paint, we'll be using brown, two shades of green and yellow, two or three paintbrushes, scissors, masking tape, duct tape, an empty bottle, two disposable plates, these will serve as our paint palettes, newspaper, Mod Podge, and a tray or plate upon which we will create our snack. We'll also need water, white vinegar, baking soda, red food coloring, a tablespoon measure, one cup and a third cup measures, long stick, and a funnel. Let's begin. Take the water bottle and place a piece of duct tape on the bottom. Roll the tape such that it is sticky on both sides. Stick the bottle in the middle of the tray. Next, take the newspaper stack and cut a lot of big squares or rectangles. Scrunch each piece and place it around the bottle. In Parsha Shemos, we learned that Moshe saw a burning bush, the snack. The bush was on fire, yet it was not being burnt. This interesting and unusual phenomenon has a very special lesson for us, which we will discuss in a minute. After scrunching up and placing all the pieces, cut long pieces of masking tape and stick them horizontally and vertically across the pile of newspaper to hold them in place around the bottle. For it to hold securely, attach each piece of tape to the end of the bottleneck on one end and then attach the second end to the tray. Stuff the newspaper balls beneath the strips of tape. Make sure not to cover the opening of the bottle. So what can we learn from the snack? Imagine we were all malachim, angels, we would be able to praise and daven to Hashem all day. Imagine how holy and special that would be. No need to be busy with physical things like eating, drinking, and sleeping. No need to be working so hard to not listen to our Yetzirah. But if we were malachim, would we be able to make a bracha on food? No, malachim don't eat. We wouldn't be able to have kibra ve'im either and bring our father a glass of water, nor could we play nicely with our siblings while our mother rests because malachim don't have parents or siblings. But Hashem didn't want to make us malachim. For exactly this reason, Hashem specifically wants us to live in this world so we can make it a godly place, a place even more holy than Shemayim, where the Malachim live. But how is this possible? How can we be even more special than the Malachim? The answer is through doing Torah and mitzvot here in this world. Hashem created everything, food, metals, plants, water, you name it, for a holy purpose. Okay. Once you finish taping the newspaper mound in place, take another stack of newspaper and cut several long wide strips. Using the Mod Podge, paint each strip, then place it on top of the newspaper mound, otherwise known as our snack, our burning bush. Repeat this process until you cover the entire bush. Once that's done, we'll paint Mod Podge over the entire thing and let it dry completely before moving on to the next step. So how can we accomplish this goal of making the world a godly place? The answer is through using everything in this world around us to do a mitzvah. For example, we can use wood to build a sukkah or flour and water to bake and eat matzah. Or here's an example of a mitzvah we can do every day. When we eat food, a physical act, we can make a bracha on it. Another one, when we exercise, we are doing the mitzvah of making sure to keep our bodies healthy so that we have enough strength to do lots of other mitzvahs. When we unwind after learning by playing a game or doing a hobby, we can keep in mind that we are doing this to recharge and have more energy to learn Torah and do mitzvot. When we act in this way, we become like the burning bush. What was special about this bush? On the one hand, it was on fire, but on the other hand, it was not getting burnt. The fire is like us wanting to do lots of mitzvot. It's the part of us that is on fire to do what Hashem wants. And the bush is like this world, with all the ordinary, non-holy things in it. Hold that thought, because the moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. It is now time to make this bush look like a bush. Using the dark green paint, paint the whole bush. Once that's done, use the brown paint and dab the paint on those parts that are curved on the inside. Next, similarly, use the light green paint to go over those parts that are curved on the outside. Finally, take the yellow paint and dab a bit of it in the most prominent places, aka the parts that kind of stick out. Painting it in this way will add some dimension and make the bush look a little more realistic. Once you're done painting, let it dry completely. As you're painting, let's think about being like a snack. Just like the fire did not burn the bush, Hashem does not want us to ignore the world and be malachim. It's the opposite. Hashem wants us to be in this world and use all the non-holy items within it, turning them into holy things by using them for mitzvot. In this way, we are like the burning bush, 
bringing the fire and light of mitzvot into this world. Okay, are you ready to now make the bush burn? Well, that's not what we are going to do for real because that would not be safe at all. But we are going to do an experiment that will look a bit similar to the idea of fire. Here it goes. Place the funnel over the opening of the bottle, then measure out seven tablespoons of baking soda into the bottle. Almost done. Tablespoon number six, and lastly number seven. Next, take one cup of water and add a few drops of red food coloring. Using your stick, give it a good mix, then pour it into the bottle. Stir it a bit with your long stick. Okay, are you ready for the action now? We are going to pour a third of a cup of vinegar into the bottle and we are going to watch our bush burn, like for pretend. In reality, you're going to see what's going to happen. Once we pour in the vinegar, watch it overflow and spread like the flames. How cool is that? You can pour more vinegar in a few times to produce the same effect. Thank you for joining and come again next week.